South Africa's unbeaten series run on the road continues, but it wasn't without a fight. Pakistan batted a lot longer than some of us would have expected. What are encouraging signs there from Asad Shafiq? Ah, oh, without a doubt. I mean, he he played a horrible shot in the in the first inning, and he came back really well. He played a very sensible knock with Miss Walak, and uh, and managed to get his hundred on the board. I mean, that's his what fifth hundred. Uh, he's got a couple against the uh, against the South Africans. So he likes the South African bowling. He's he's a very gutsy young fellow. A very good future for Pakistan. And with that partnership he had with Misbah and the runs they put on, I suppose Adna Nakmal might be thinking if he hadn't dropped that catch, Pakistan would have been in a great position. Yeah, you can say that now. I mean, uh, uh, A.P. De Villiers, don't take anything away from me. The way he, the way he batted, I thought, uh, you know, took the Pakistan more or less out of the game in the, in the first inning when he batted. I mean, fair enough, Adna Nakmal dropped a catch, but after that, uh, you know, he was, he was just on song. He batted superbly. Uh, yeah, Ms. Balhak feel, should feel proud uh, after what, what these guys have done today. I mean, they they stood up and to the task and, and batted superbly, both of them, uh, Ms. Ba and uh, Asish Shafiq. Do you think the series result is a fair reflection of where the teams are, South Africa number one, Pakistan number four? Kind of, you can say that. I mean, we, we, we were playing on our sort of uh, home soil and we knew these pitches uh, well. We beat England last time, England played here. Fair and square, and I thought we, we beat South Africa fair and square in the in the first Test match. I mean, number one team, uh, you know, they they know how to how to bounce back on these sort of pitches, and uh, they bounced back really really hard at the Pakistanis, and uh, and Pakistan had no no answer to it. Something that perhaps wasn't so fair was the ball tampering issue we had yesterday with Faf Duplessis. What's your thoughts on that? Look, it's there. You can't deny that. We the the entire world has seen it. The, it was on the television. It was very obvious. And I think, uh, uh, to be very honest, uh, Faf uh, just got away with it. Only with fifty percent of the uh, of the match. I thought it was a bit of frustration from the from the South Africans. Uh, they didn't need to do that. I mean, they were they were playing uh, really well. And uh, you know, you never know what what's been going on. I mean, now it leaves leaves a big question mark on on the South African. Uh, you know, credibility and, and team, what, what, what is going on. So I think, uh, you know, it was a silly thing to do. And, and, uh, and as I said, Faf Duplessis got away with it. I mean, just 50%, that's, uh, you know, he's, he's lucky that, uh, that he's not been really charged uh, more than that. And questions definitely asked about the South African attack after that. But on the whole, what's your performance, or what's your assessment, rather, on, on how they performed in this test compared to the first one? I mean, they batted superbly. They needed uh, after getting Pakistan out on ninety nine. Uh, uh, they want they had to bat really well, and I think full credit uh, should be given to to the captain himself. Smith batted with a lot of responsibility. He was, uh, you know, it was not the easiest of the pitch to bat on. I thought he batted triple. He's man of the match for me uh, because uh, it was not easy wicket to bat on, and of course, uh, you know, he'd be available with them. And and I mean. Imran Tahiru balled superbly in the first inning. I thought he set the tone fair enough, but it was a, it was a Smith's batting which really uh, took them to this victory. And where can Pakistan go from here? They're hosting Sri Lanka. Are there any changes you'd like them to make? What kind of team philosophy should they take going forward? Do you think they're in a good space? Look, they are in a good space. I mean, what I'm seeing in the in the second innings, you know, they're capable. I mean, they're a very talented side. It's not that they 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 can't bounce back. They know these pitches, as I said. So what they need to do is just bring some application into their batting when they're batting first time. It's the second time happened that Pakistan, you know, when they bat first, it's they struggle. I mean, I don't know what's it's the fresh pitch which doesn't they can't really uh, hold on to or or what it is. I mean, fair enough. South Africans very fine bowling lineup, but uh, you know, even on the weaker sides, you know, Pakistan opening slot and the, and, and even number three has struggled. We saw a good, good partnership in Abu Dhabi, but after that, you know, once South Africans got their line right, it was very, very difficult for the Pakistani openers to handle that. So I think, you know, Pakistan should stay positive. It's a Sri Lankan series, big series coming up. I think uh, they should take a lot of positives out, out of it. I mean, they've not lost the series, so that's also plus for Pakistan. Great. Thanks, Waka. We'll catch up with you then. Thank you.